We've always been known for uh, the Grado sound. We've had 60 years to really perfect the Grado sound, and that's what we like focusing on, and we just keep improving on it. Growing up with headphones being made around us 24-7, that was my normal. I went to a, a career day at school one day, and you have to dress up as who you wanted to be when you grow up, and everyone else was dressed as sports players or uh, lawyers. So I came in with just headphones around my neck, and I was like, I'm gonna be my dad. The business started in 1953 with phonograph cartridges. During the 80s, we kind of hit our peak. We were probably producing about 10,000 phono cartridges a week when the compact disc was introduced. Our cartridge production went from 10,000 units a week, and in 1990, we hit a low of 12,000 for the year. We felt that headphones were kind of considered a second-class citizen back then. And looking around at what there was and knowing the knowledge we had, we figured that we could probably make an impact. But it was a whole new product line, and we had to build a reputation on that product line. The first run of headphones we did, actually, we had a desk that might, might have been four feet by two feet wide, and my wife and I sat down at the desk and we made the headphones. For 20 years, every year, we've grown. Uh, our competitive edge is two things, the sound and the heritage. I think you need to stay adaptable to what's going on with the headphone market, but at the same time, we've always focused on running our own race. There's an awful lot to learn, and sometimes I have to pull back and realize that all the knowledge I've had, I've really acquired over, you know, probably uh, 40 years. And, you know, that's not something he can just learn, you know, in a year or two years. I think in the beginning, um, when I first started really doing things with Grado, I was like, we need to do this, we need to do this. Other headphone companies are doing this. And my dad was just like, eh, hold on. And then I, as I really started to work here, I realized what we're doing makes us who we are. At some point, I have to relinquish the authority to them. I'll always be there in the background. Uh, they have questions guiding them and stuff but it's gonna be their baby. In the past five to 10 years, we've really reached out on social a lot. And then recently we just came out with a whole new line of headphones called the E-Series. So I think becoming more social and really building a strong community online that we could just engage with in a split second is, is really powerful. And combine that with our new headphones and I think I think the third generation of Grado is something to look forward to.